head session tonight, but we're going to do an upper body workout this morning. So we're going to do a bit lower in the volume, so just focusing on a bit more strength. So this is us here. So we're going uh, pretty low in terms of reps, but going a wee bit heavier on it. Um, and then head session tonight. So go to just sit on the power as well. Not a bad option if you're waking up early in the morning. Can't get time to eat. It's just a way to get a bit of carbs in the system. Just take. Double training sessions, like I'm maybe only doing one or two of them in the week. I'll probably be hitting you know 3,000, 3,300 calories today. Now, normally it's maybe in around you know 2,500, 2,700. So if you are training twice in a day or you've maybe just had a high workload, a big session, and you do only up your calories just to help with that recovery and make sure that you're you're kind of fueled in between sessions. Right now, for, for lunch, go on these kind of ready made salmon fillets, bag of rice, and then just afterwards, I'm going to have a bit of bit of granola, bit of Greek yogurt and a bit of fruit, so just uploading a, uh, a YouTube video there. Um, this will already be up by the time this one here goes up, but yeah, I'm um, uh, just about to go down to work now and coach for a few hours and said we have training tonight, so I want to make sure I've got some some fuel in the tank before I go down to train. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a smoothie now and bring that with me, so I'll probably take that about uh, 6 o'clock and I'll be training at about 8 o'clock. Or maybe just after it, so it gives a couple of time, couple of hours for it to digest. So this is a smoothie here. Looks like a lot, but it's not really. A couple hundred calories in here, so I've went for uh, two scoops of oats. It's about 80 grams. Um, I've got some frozen fruit in as well, two bananas. And I'll probably um, maybe try and take a, put like a protein, scoop of protein in this here whenever I get down to the gym. But yeah, this will be the, the meal I have now before training, about two hours beforehand. Sometimes liquid meals are a wee bit better because they get in the system a bit quicker. Um, that's why they can be good before trainings, before matches. But. Session or pit session. Um, it was a good session. It was uh, it was tight going at the end. Played a good game as well. But a game this weekend, so should be good to play play a bit. Um, today was pretty high calorie just because I've done so much training. So calories, if you can see that is uh, sitting at 3,031 calories. Um, the goal was just to hit over 3,000 today, but tomorrow's a rest day and I'll, I'll probably take you through that, take you through a recovery session. I sort of see, show you the difference between a, a training day and a recovery day. Morning, 5 a.m. start. I've got some clients in at six, so really excited about hearing that 5 a.m. alarm, but has to be done, all right. Six AM here, quarter to six. Doesn't get any easier waking up. It isn't too exciting. Recovery work and um bit less food. But yeah. Behind the scenes. So getting on the bike here, going 30 seconds at like a kind of seven or eight out of 10 like pace. Um, and then 30 seconds of rest. I'm gonna do five minutes this or five rounds. And this is more just to kind of get a bit of blood going through the legs, loosen them out a wee bit and kind of flush them out more than anything. Roll here now. Only kind of, I don't really foam roll everything. Only thing I'm gonna foam roll is hamstrings, quads and glutes. Just there that I find the legs seem to tighten up with me. You're ready to spin and five or ten minutes working on you know only a few areas and spending you know half an hour or an hour working every single muscle group in your body. So after the bike and after the roll just a bit of mobility work so again just focusing on on tight areas so we it called a 1990 stretch um, really good for this and like the glutes and then the hips as well. Our focus is hamstrings and RDL. Try it out and turn it on to see. I saw them Instagram videos there just getting someone's made up 
it's just something I always have to keep on top of. Uh, on top of, it's hard to come up with new things all the time, and it's hard to, it's hard to always keep the quality in it. So you're in a constant battle of trying to get, trying to get good videos up. But um, this morning, well, pretty small breakfast. Just going uh, two fried eggs, just to get a wee bit of protein in them. To be honest, don't eat knock off too many calories earlier in the day because we're a bit less today um so two eggs keep me going for a couple hours and then we'll get some lunch later on so going for a bit of chicken salad so this is a rest day as i said so trying to keep the uh the calories a bit lower today there's some spinach a few other things added in um and then going for one of these packs of chicken here as well yeah i think i do have like a unique perspective on this because you know, I spent a, a good part of my life being very, very Bit of program design going on here. Whenever you're doing something for yourself, i.e. you kind of run the business essentially, you're always having something to do. Like there's, like I'm, I'm constantly working through this list here that I have written up and there's always something to do like so it's you never really get a minute to sort of sit down and, and take it easy you, you can but if you're trying to be productive and get stuff done you, you're always having to work like so when you do get free time from coaching it's nearly always spent doing something else either for the coaching at night or for something on social media like uh, it's one of the drawbacks i suppose of doing something for yourself is that there's not a lot of downtime it's always in your mind and so it's all on you, like it's not on anybody else, um, which is a good thing and a bad thing. But uh, there's some days when you'd like to take it easy, but it just doesn't feel good to, to take it easy sometimes. Always trying to push it on, but... Oh. This is me now in the gym, so it's uh, half three there, and um, I'm setting up now for the evening sessions here, so I've got all these workouts here to write up. Um, just snacking on one of these yogurts and a protein bar while I'm doing it. here just after nine so it's been a long day from from six this morning but the energy in, in the gym sometimes is is class like and messages from the members we have in here everyone that comes in here was wanting to train and wanting to put in their best and the best thing is there's a lot of strangers in here but when they're in here they're you think they've known each other for years like and when you're kind of sitting back and looking at it it's like this is class like and to have it in your own place is, is even better you know we have them pushing each other on is, is class like you're kinda pinching yourself sometimes and you're looking at it but I love our members, love our members. Go QSC. Last meal of the day. Uh turkey, cooking oven, some veg and baked potato, frozen baked potato. Um last meal round off of calories here about two thousand four hundred today total. Long day but a good day. The uh client there See the clock here now, I've got no one coming at half eight. So we've got half an hour to squeeze the work in, so. Um, this one I'm doing here, I'll show you it here now anyway. So, here we go. Session done. Better than doing nothing sometimes. Bit of body weight work. Bit of kind of core work and carries. Hard to beat. I think it's going to end this vlog. I think this weekend we have a game, so I'll take us through that there and the training and stuff. Leading up to the and all that shit. But yeah. Thanks for watching.